<laughs> We're here at Avacon in Nottingham. Uh, it's a full day of looking at the stars from Doctor Who, um, Star Wars, Game of Thrones, and I can't <laughs> <laughs> This was the entrance towards the Comic Con, um, which, which is well, well, it was Capital FM Arena, which is now Motor Point. And these were the car from Supernatural. Yeah, can't remember his name from Cars. What was his name? <laughs> uh, come to me in a minute. You got little, Kit little and Prince. Rider, Eighteen Van. Did um. Eighteen Van have a name? Yeah, it was Eighteen Van. Wasn't surely, Bumblebees. Was it, are they the same bumblebees? Yeah. That's the Corvette It's version. because it changes, doesn't it? It's like a Camaro and a lot and of Boba Fetts. <laughs> the well, Mandalorians. Let's, let's be fair. They've probably all thought they're different Mandalorian. This is Lee Sullivan's stand at the Comic Con. Personal <laughs> friend of <laughs> Gary Barwell. Yeah, I ended up uh, standing in for him uh, because he had to go and get some more posters and stuff. When, uh, wasn't everyone asking you if you were the artist? If I was Lee Sullivan, <laughs> I was tempted to say yes, that I was. And and I, stuff. But honestly, Lee, I didn't. I didn't sign anything. Wasn't a lot of stalls, but there was a hell of a lot of people signing autographs. That's that's the one thing I would say uh, to me. So we ended up just wandering around. There was yeah, because there wasn't many stalls that that we were interested in. I suppose we'd look at, but. The, you'd it almost got anything. to the stage where some were like craft stores and stuff, you know, you, which is fine, which is fine if you like crafts. But there wasn't but any comic, don't. comic book stores. It wasn't like we've said. And that's wasn't that's why I like, the, you know, with the comic con one, Kev's idea of keeping it as a comic, just solely artists, writers. I like that idea. I, I do of in, keeping it I very do separate. Like that, but I I wonder if if you're going to do a proper comic con. It's, a, it's amalgamating both of these. You, uh, you had to pay f to get in, then you had to pay for the... Pay panels. for the panels. They were only, a, they were only about a quid each, weren't they? They were a pound quid. each. Mm -hmm. no, the pa pound the each, panels were good value. That was fine. But you couldn't get tickets. They were sold out. Most it's of them, uh, it's yeah. sold out. Well, we went late. We tried to get them late, didn't we? For the yeah. drive-through doctors. But there wasn't many people at them. I mean, when you look at the... There's probably about 50 people in there. No, probably more, actually. If you think the row, I think it was five each side, is it, there must have been about... Is it family-friendly? Because I would argue it's not. Because I don't, I don't know who's... I, I don't really get who it's aimed at. You know when you get to, like, one of... You know, like, the American ones? Yeah. There's something for everyone, and I would argue on at this, I don't know if there is. Have they moved away from doing it as just purely comics and things? Oh, just well, they've gone completely away from comics because there was like three or four stores. But I think that's a shame because to me, if it's a comic con, then it's comics. It's comics. And, and when you look at people, what people were dressed up as, I suppose was it comics? Though oh, it was probably more TV and films anyway. Yeah, there was some bizarre. I think that's the thing. You know, like you, you see the American ones and. People do go to town with the cosplay, don't they? They really are sort of. It's on another level. Whereas ours, I suppose, a lot of British ones are still in its infancy, and I, and I still think we've got this kind of reservation about dressing up, and it's you know not quite right, maybe. Um, it's not right. <laughs> <laughs> says the says the man who dressed as Marty McFly <laughs> at Nottingham Comic Con. And I'm qualified to say it's not right. <laughs> Say 